The rains have started at Lake Chapala. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. Well, the rainy season has officially started and all of this dead grass is starting to come back. Looky here. All of that uh, we covered up with the dirt from digging the new septic. It's starting to come up through the dirt. Making some progress on the new outdoor kitchen living room. Get back to that in a bit. Let's go see the front yard. Front yard. Lynn and I always argue about what's the front and what's the back. Do we face the lake? Or do we face the street? Actually, we don't face the street at all. We have a private drive, but look at that green grass. A week ago, it all looked like that dead spot out there. And the hills, after just a few rains, the hills are starting to turn green. Yes, the rainy season has officially started. And we're all happy about it. The bird of paradise is happy. My boat's happy this morning. Yeah, green grass, it's been a while. This has been the hottest, driest um, April, May, and half of June we've ever had since we lived here in 20 years. My well usually can keep all the grass green, but Right now, and I have 23 sprinkler heads in my property, uh, my two horsepower uh, well pump runs the well dry in about three minutes. This will be the main beam for the roof over my new outdoor kitchen slash living room. Danny on the right is a welder. He's also my Maid's husband, and I've known them for years. Danny welded all the doors and windows in my uh, construction of joining the two houses together to make that big living room. The younger guy on the left um, has one year to go at the uh, University of Guadalajara in Puerto Vallarta. He'll be an architect. Numero uno. Numero dos. Seventy degrees this morning. They've got the welding done. The uh, laminate. It's uh, uh, fake tiles made out of fiberglass. Coming soon. Today, Juan has laid out the uh, lines. I don't know if you can see those little lines. These are all perfectly square and the right height to make it all level and perfect all the way. Starting to lay tile.
That's the tile I picked for it. This, let me not step on his lines. This will all get taken out and we're gonna have a double door right there. And it starts. Because this old part is kind of um, purposely 20 years ago made a channel so the water would run and get to here. And then this was just dirt here. We're going to leave a space right there for the water to drain. And we tested this with the hose and it'll drain right down over here, off into there. So that's the plan. I picked the same tile as I have out here on this little patio. For a couple of reasons, I got the same tile. Uh, number one, it took us forever to pick this one. So I thought, well, hey, I won't have to make any decisions if I can get the same tile. But I picked this one because it's not slippery when it's wet, uh, or even when it's wet. It's definitely not slippery, slippery when it's dry. So anyway, and it sort of gives a consistency to the place. There's my plow. When we first moved in, we planted a garden down here in the federal zone. And uh, we pulled it with my Quattromoto, my Honda Foreman uh, ATV. So I've got a hold of the back end of the plow and Lynn's driving the Quattromoto. The directions when a mule is plowing, uh, pulling a plow is he and haw to go left or right. <laughs> And uh, there was this big controversy after we got done plowing because the lines went like this. <laughs> was that the driver or the mute or the plow guy, me or Lynn? And I uh, till still to this day I claim that she didn't understand he and haw. <clears throat> The lamina has arrived. The sun is shining. Juan is making progress on the tile. And there's still a nice breeze coming in off of the lake. Temperature is up to 73. All is well in Ahihik. So yes, the rainy season has started and we love it. However, I've seen one mosquito in the house so far this week. They'll hatch soon, so mosquito season is going to start, and uh, June bug season. <laughs> Let me show you something. On purpose, there is no um, screen on an open window up there in the cupola because it lets the hot air out. It's a cooling uh, function. That's what a cupola is. But I leave the light on in the cupola at night and this is what I get. June bugs and bobos. So every morning I have to come and sweep up the bugs. Bienvenidos de Mexico. Before I knew what a cupola was, and I knew that the house I was buying had one, I thought I was going to have to get chickens. Just a few more clips here that I picked up during the week to fill out today's video. Ice cream and red velvet cake from Marissa's near El Torito. 
best red velvet cake in North America. A trip to the island, well, the one in our yard anyway. If you hear this flute sound and a guy yelling, he's looking to sharpen your knives. like me, give me one of those thumbs up and please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.